Hello, welcome back boys and girls. Today's story is called Ellie Elephant Loses Weight, written by Christian Sanders, illustrated by Blueberry Illustrations. Now, in this remarkable story, Ellie Elephant doesn't like the way she looks. She thinks a big floppy ears, wrinkly skin, and long trunk looks weird. And she doesn't understand why elephants have to be fat. So she decides to become skinny. Now let's find out how Ellie decides to love herself no matter what. Now let's see what happens. Let's get started. Once upon a time in the African savanna, there lived an elephant named Ellie. One day, while getting water to drink, Ellie Elephant looked into the water hole and didn't like what she saw. She didn't like a big ears or a big long trunk, and most of all, she didn't like being fat. She thought she would be much more attractive if she was skinny. Ellie complained to the elephants in a herd about how much she disliked the way she looked. I'm tired of being fat, said Ellie to the elephants in a herd. I want to be skinny. My ears are big and floppy. My skin is so wrinkly. My trunk is so long that it almost touches the ground. I just look plain weird. Elephants are supposed to be fat, said the elephant in a herd. I don't care what they say, Ellie thought to herself. I'm going to lose weight. So Ellie started to eat less food and to exercise every day. She ran, hula hooped, and even lifted weights. After much hard work, Ellie was skinny. Ellie wanted to show off a new look to her friends. Now one day, Ellie decided to visit her friends, Andy Hardwork, Gina Giraffe, and Zachary Zebra. I can't wait for my friends to see that I'm skinny, thought a proud Ellie. And on the way to visit her friends, Ellie encountered a clan of hyenas. And when the hyenas saw Ellie, they started laughing hysterically. Ellie looked so easy to capture that they were sure that they had found their next meal. What is that? exclaimed the hyena leader. Is that supposed to be an elephant? I think we found our dinner, said another one in the clan. Ellie heard the hyenas laughing at her. And then she saw the hyenas coming after her. Ellie ran as fast as she could. And finally, she escaped them. Now Ellie stopped under a tree to catch a breath. Why did those hyenas try to attack me? Ellie thought to herself. Ellie was puzzled because hyenas had never tried to attack her before when she was fat. Ellie gasped and said to herself, 
It's because I'm skinny? But why? <laughs> so Ellie continued on her way to visit her friends and show off a new look. She couldn't wait for them to see that she was skinny. Hi everyone, hi, said Ellie to her friends, Andy Hardwork, Gina Giraffe, and Zachary Zebra. What do you think of my new look? And Ellie's friends were stunned. She had become so skinny that her friends didn't even know who she was. They were all surprised when they realized it was Ellie. What happened to you? asked Zachary. I lost weight, said Ellie. Why did you do that? asked Gina. I didn't like being fat, replied Ellie. What's good about being fat anyway? But you're an elephant, and elephants are supposed to be fat, said Andy. Well, not this elephant, replied Ellie. I don't think you're even an elephant anymore, said Zachary. Not an elephant, shouted an angry Ellie. Zachary, what have you done? exclaimed China. Even though she's no longer fat, she's still the same Ellie. Now, she probably doesn't even want to be our friend. Now, Gina Giraffe and the hard work and Zachary Zebra felt terrible for upsetting their friend, Ellie. Ellie couldn't believe how she was being treated by her friends just because she lost weight. Heartbroken, Ellie walked away from her friends, crying all the way home to her herd. Once Ellie arrived home, she told her parents how she had been laughed at and chased by hyenas. She also told them that her friends didn't recognize her and how Zachary Zebra doubted whether she was still an elephant. Can you believe what Zachary Zebra said to me? Ellie asked her parents. He actually said I wasn't an elephant just because I'm skinny. <clears throat> Ellie, listen to me, said her dad. You're an elephant, and elephants are meant to be fat. But, but why are elephants fat? Asked Ellie. Sit down with me, Ellie, said her dad. Let me teach you some facts about elephants. A frustrated Ellie sat down with her dad, anxious to hear what he had to say. Ellie, did you know that elephants are the largest land animals in the world? Asked her dad. Being fat has lots of advantages for an elephant. Being large is a defense to keep predators like lions from attacking us. Also, our enormous body can store lots of water. Our big ears are like fans and help keep us cool from the heat in the African savanna. Our large, 
long trunk allows us to breathe, smell, touch, grasp, and make sounds. Helly, we are unique, and there's no other animal that looks like us, said a mom. We are one of the most loved creatures on earth, Ellie. Elephants were created by God to be fat for many reasons, but we love and accept you no matter what size you are. Now, Ellie wasn't sure what she should do. She had to decide whether she wanted to remain a skinny elephant or go back to her old self and be fat again. Ellie thought really hard about what her parents said to her about elephants. And finally, she realized that elephants look the way they do for a reason. She understood that she wasn't weird at all. She was an elephant and being fat was just a part of who she was. Now, as the days went by, Ellie began to look like her old self. She decided to visit her friends, Gina, Zachary, and Andy again. And her friends were so happy to see her. They were surprised that she looked like the old Ellie, but even better. We didn't think you would ever talk to us again, said Gina. I'm sorry for saying you weren't a real elephant, said Zachary. I never meant to hurt your feelings. I forgive you, said Ellie. You are my friends, and I know you didn't mean to upset me. After talking to my parents, I now know that there's nothing wrong with the way I look. I am a proud elephant who is beautiful and unique just the way I am. Ellie and her friends shared a big hug and they laughed and played together for the rest of the day. Ellie knew that she was special and she would always love herself no matter what. Wow, what a remarkable, remarkable story. Thank you for joining us again, boys and girls, for this wonderful story time. We thank you for being here. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you soon.